I am honored to have the opportunity to speak to you today about the topic of multiple response optimization using Minitab. This is a subject that holds great importance in the field of research and analysis. Multi-response optimization is a crucial aspect of many experiments, particularly in fields such as engineering, chemistry, and biology. In these scenarios, it is common for the experimenter to have multiple responses of interest, and finding solutions that optimize each response is of great importance. Multiple response optimization is a powerful tool used to identify the best combination of input variable settings that collectively optimize a set of responses. This approach allows us to consider multiple objectives simultaneously, rather than optimizing each response separately. In the field of experimental design, the sparsity of effects principle plays a crucial role in identifying the most influential factors and their interactions. This principle acknowledges that in many experimental scenarios, only a small number of factors or variables significantly impact the outcome being studied, while the majority of factors have minimal to no effect. By applying this principle in design of experiments DOE, researchers can efficiently allocate resources and focus on investigating the most important factors, leading to more effective and targeted studies. Stepwise Regression for forward selection, this method starts with an empty model. Then, Minitab adds the most significant term for each step. Minitab stops when all variables not in the model have p-values that are greater than the specified alpha to enter value. For backward elimination, this method starts with all potential terms in the model and removes the least significant term for each step. Minitab stops when all variables in the model have p-values that are less than or equal to the specified alpha to remove value. Stepwise regression is a combination of the forward and backward selection techniques. It adding and removing predictors as it builds the model. Minitab stops when all variables have p-values that are greater than the specified alpha to enter value. Let's take an example. The process engineering improvement team wants to improve the coating thickness of product. Two responses are in interest which are weight and particle size. Multiple factors such as temperature, heater, flow rate and time are identified as key input variables that affect both responses. The team is looking to maximize the weight and minimize the particle size. The team decided to run two-level full factorial design. Analyze the data from this experiment. Plot the main effect and interaction plot. Analyze the residuals from this experiment. Choose STAT DOE a factorial a create factorial design. Choose two level factorial, default generators, from number of factors, choose four. Click designs. In the designs box at the top, highlight the row for a full factorial. Complete the dialog box as below. Click OK in each dialog box. The table presented here displays the outcomes of the design experiment regarding weight and particle size. Standard order is the typical order of the experimental runs. Run order is the order of the experimental runs. Choose STAT the DOE factorial analyze factorial design. Complete the dialog box as shown below. Click the Graphs button. For effects plots, select Pareto. Under Residual Plots, select 4 in 1. Click OK in each dialog box. Click Stepwise. Under Method, select Backward Elimination. Under Display the Table of Model Selection Criteria, select Include Details for each step. Click OK in each dialog box. Let's start to analyze data for weight. The backward elimination method, a technique used in statistical modeling, begins with all potential terms in the model and systematically removes the least significant term at each step. In this approach, Minitab, a popular statistical software, stops the elimination process when all variables in the model have p-values that are less than or equal to the specified threshold, known as the alpha to remove value. Typically, this threshold is set at 0 
In the study at hand, any effect that extends beyond the reference line of 1.81 is deemed to be statistically significant. A Pareto chart has been utilized to visually represent the significance of various factors. The chart clearly indicates that temperature, heater, and CD have a significant effect on the mean weight. The assumption of residual plot is a fundamental concept in regression analysis. The first assumption of residual plot is that the residuals should be normally distributed. Another assumption is that the residuals should exhibit constant variance, also known as homoscedasticity. Additionally, the assumption of residual plot includes that there should be no pattern in the residuals. The effect for a factor represents the predicted change in the mean response when the factor changes from the low level to the high level. It's important to note that effects are twice the value of the coded coefficients. This relationship allows us to quantify and measure the impact of a factor on the response. Furthermore, the sign of the effect indicates the direction of the relationship between the term and the response. The coefficient for a term represents the change in the mean response associated with an increase of one coded unit in that term, while the other terms are held constant. Furthermore, it is important to note that the size of the coefficient is half the size of the effect. This information is vital in understanding the magnitude of the impact that each term has on the response variable. In addition, to minimize multicollinearity among the terms, the coefficients are all presented in coded units. Use the p-values in the coded coefficients table to determine which terms are statistically significant at the alpha equals 0.05 level. In the study, it was found that both temperature and heater have a significant impact, with a p-value less than the alpha level of 0.05. Additionally, the interaction effect for flow rate and time was also found to be significant, with a p-value less than the alpha level of 0.05. Multicollinearity, as measured by the variance inflation factor, VIF, is a critical consideration in regression analysis. High VIF values indicate a strong correlation among predictors, which can lead to unstable and unreliable regression coefficients. This instability makes it challenging to interpret the impact of individual predictors on the outcome variable. A VIF of 1 is a positive indication for regression analysis, as it suggests that the independent variables are not correlated with each other. A VIF value greater than 5 or 10 indicates a high level of multicollinearity, suggesting that the independent variables are highly correlated with each other. The coefficient of determination, often referred to as R-squared, is a statistical measure that represents the proportion of variability in the response variable that is explained by the regression equation. In simpler terms, it indicates how well the model fits the observed data. In the context of the specific model being discussed, it is reported that the R-squared value is 95.37%. This means that the model accounts for 95.37% of the variation in the response variable. Use the regression equation to describe the relationship between the response and the terms in the model. For a regression equation that is in uncoded units, interpret the coefficients using the natural units of each variable. For a categorical variable, the natural units of the variable are minus 1 for the low level and plus 1 for the high level, just as if the variable was coded. The table of unusual observation indicates that observation 7 is an outlier because its residual is more than two standard deviation from the mean of 0. Particle size Choose STAT the DOE factorial analyze factorial design. Complete the dialog box as shown below. Click the Graphs button. For effects plots, select Pareto. Under Residual Plots, select 4 in 1. Click OK in each dialog box. Click Stepwise. Under Method, select Backward Elimination. Under Display the Table of Model Selection Criteria, select Include Details for each step. Click OK in each dialog box. 
The backward elimination method shows that all main effects and interaction between temperature and flow rate and interaction between heater and time significantly affect the mean of particle size. Any effect that extends beyond this reference line, 1.83 is statistically significant. The Pareto chart shows that all main effects and BD and AC significantly affect the mean of particle size. For the normal probability plot, the points on the normal probability plot roughly follow a straight line, you can assume that the residuals do not deviate substantially from a normal distribution. Upon examination of the data, it is evident that the constant variance assumption remains unviolated. Additionally, the residuals in the plot seem fluctuate in a random pattern around the center line. Factorial plots for weight. Choose STAT DOE factorial factorial plots. From response, select weight. Under variables to include in plots, move all terms from the available list to the selected list. Click OK. The main effect of a factor is the average influence of a change in the level of that factor on the response. The main effect of a factor equals the average response from all runs at the high level of the factor minus the average response from all runs at the low level of the factor. The main effects plot indicates that high level of temperature and heater B produce higher mean for weight. Interaction plot shows how the relationship between the response variable and a predictor depends on the value of a second predictor. At time equals 60, the weight increase when flow rate is 15. It shows interaction effect between time and flow rate. Choose STAT DOE factorial contour plot. From response, select weight. Under select a pair of variables for a single plot, select temp under x axis and flow rate under y axis. Click settings. Under hold factors at, select B under heater and enter 90 for time. Click OK in each dialog box. The contour plot shows that the highest weight was obtained using temperature between 145 to 155 degrees Celsius and flow rate between 10 to 11 while holding heater B and time equals 90. The main effects plot indicates that following settings produces the lowest particle size. Temperature equals 155, heater equals B, flow rate equals 10, time equals 90. The lowest particle size occurs when temperature is at 130 degrees Celsius with flow rate of 10. The lowest particle size occurs when using heater B with time of 90 S. The contour plot shows that the lowest particle size was obtained using temperature between 130 to 155 degrees Celsius and flow rate between 10 to 11 while holding heater B and time equals 90. Multiple response optimization. Response optimization helps you identify the combination of variable settings that jointly optimize a single response or a set of responses. Choose STAT DOE Factorial A Response Optimizer. Complete the dialog box as below. Click OK in each dialog box. Use the optimization plot to determine the optimal settings for the predictors given the parameters that you specified. For the data, the desirability is 0.9058. The optimized settings are temperature equals 155, heater equals B, flow rate equals 10 and time equals 90. The goal was to maximize weight and minimize particle size. Composite desirability, D, evaluates how the settings optimize a set of responses overall. Desirability has a range of 0 to 1. 1 represents the ideal case, 0 indicates that one or more responses are outside their acceptable limits. A design in which experimenters perform only a selected subset of fraction of the runs in the full factorial design. Fractional factorial designs are a good choice when resources are limited or the number of factors in the design is large because they use fewer runs than the full factorial designs. Use a contour plot to show the relationship between factors and a response. If there is curvature in the system, then a polynomial of higher degree must be used, such as the second-order model. Composite desirability, D, 
evaluates how the settings optimize a set of responses overall.